Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you auto pitch detection using Resamplematic 5000 in Reaper. So I'm starting off with a new blank project, and I want to add some pitched samples to the sampler that comes with Reaper called Resamplematic 5000. So the way to do that is to go up here to the View menu and choose Media Explorer, which opens up this dialog where we can find and use samples that are on a hard drive. Now I've already created a folder over here that has some pitch samples we could use. And they sound like this. And if we look down over here, Reaper will detect what pitch each sample is. G sharp, E, C sharp, and G. So let's start with this one. We'll create a new track by double clicking over here. Make sure our input is set to MIDI. Then we'll go to the track effects. Under the Reaper effects, the Resamplematic 5000 sampler, which again comes with Reaper. Double click it, and it looks like this. And now let's reopen the Media Explorer and drag in that file, like this. Now we can close this, and this plugin should play that sample using a USB MIDI keyboard. But if you notice, no matter what key I play, we hear the same note. So what we need to do is change the mode from sample ignores MIDI note to note semitone shifted. So now if we play the MIDI keyboard, it'll now play different notes. And we could adjust the pitch start time over here or have Reaper detect the pitch with this button and it'll change the note to the note that it is. But we could do this whole process a lot quicker. Let's delete this track and start over. Let's select the same sample. And instead of creating a new track, we can just right click the file and choose insert into sample player, insert sample player on new track. And if we choose that, it's going to create a new track. It's going to set it to MIDI input and it's going to put the Resamplematic 5000 plugin on the track along with the sample in it. But again, we still have to change the mode to note semitone shifted, so you can play different notes on different keys. And we also have to choose to detect the pitch over here. But we can still do this whole process a little quicker, especially if we're using a sample that's pitched like this. So let's delete this track again and start over. But this time, we're going to first Go down here and right click and go to the options menu. Then we'll go to assign MIDI when inserting into sampler and change this option from the default of do not assign pitch, note, or channel to assign detected pitch, which is going to assign the pitch automatically when we insert this sampler on a new track. So now we can just do the same thing right click the sample. Insert into sampler a new track. And now it creates a new track, puts the sampler on that track, but this time the mode is set to note semitone shifted. And it already detected the correct pitch for the sample. So it's quite a time saver. But we could also do it even quicker. Let's delete the track and start again, but this time we'll go back to the options menu and go up here to default action for double click and change it 
from insert media onto the track to insert media onto sample player onto new track. So now if we simply double click any of these samples, it's going to automatically create a new track for them. Let's double click. It creates a new track set to MIDI input with a sample plugin on the track and with a sampler set to note semitone shifted and with the correct pitch already detected. So when we're working with pitch samples in here, we could do it much faster just by double clicking each file like this. And it creates a different track for each sample, with each key being correct. Let's delete all this. And there's a different method for working with one shot samples like this. Where they don't really have a pitch. We'll go back to the options menu under assign MIDI when inserting into sampler and choose assign MIDI note on each new track, which opens up this dialog where we could choose which MIDI note to start with. Let's use C3. And now starting on C3, incrementally, it's gonna assign MIDI notes to each track and each sample. So now if we select all of them and double click, it's gonna create one track for each sample that we could play back with each MIDI key. Starting on C3. Again, one sample per track. which is pretty handy if you want each sample on a different track, but if not, we could put them all on one track. Just open up the effects chain on that track, hold down Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and drag the effects chain from each of the other tracks to it. And it moves those effects to that one track. So let's do it for all of them. And now they're all on the first track, so we could delete the others. Now all the samples are in this track. And if we check each plugin, we could see they start at C3 and move up one key at a time. So now we could play it all from one track. So now all these one-shot samples can be triggered from this one track. So that's pretty much it. That's auto pitch detection using Resamplematic 5000 in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Mm -hmm.